there's a lot of information on our blog. Uh, I have set up a particular page reg regarding Kobe with loads of articles and, and uh, videos that Bill's done as well. Some of them are positive articles, some of them are negative articles. It's always uh, worth seeing both sides of the coin, but I generally think most people are, are reasonably positive about this these days. And I did publish a series of blogs which provide you a little bit more technical information uh, behind what I've described today. Um, so that's where some of this project originally started. I, I actually published a series of blogs about the Kobe, Kobe output. And you can actually download this project that I've just been talking about um, from Bill's site, which is Prairie, uh, prairieskyconsulting.com. And you can download the IFCs, the Kobe files, and all the drawing outputs that go with this file. Um, and if you want an exercise, a little exercise internally as an office, you could try and basically rebuild this information from scratch. Again, um, this information is uh, on a web page that you can download. And as well as the architectural information, there's also the structural information that exists at the moment. We will be adding um, the MEP stuff as well uh, to, to this uh, information. We'll also be adding uh, the Revit output, the Revit uh, process to this as well, um, which is important when you're working with other designers uh, that you can deliver consistent information together. And there is, as I said, the architectural and structural model uh, already up there. So um, as Scott alluded to at the beginning, um, Bill and I worked quite hard to not only produce the model that you've seen, but actually describe um, the process for creating this information in uh, Archicad. So this basically is a complementary book to what Graphsoft produced uh, themselves, which was very technical and told you where to put information. This is very much from a user perspective, describing how to put information, tips and tricks, what, what to integrate in your templates and what not to. Um, and I, I'm certainly not um, going to retire off, off this book, so really it was designed to help the community move forwards with their Kobe delivery. Equally, there's a second book that's just been released about quality control. Um, so there's a whole series of these books that are going to be produced by the team uh, as part of, the, of, of this project. So this project, although it's very, relatively small, is quite a useful demonstration exercise to explain the Kobe process. And you can get both books from uh, lulu.com, uh, what I would say is a fairly reasonably priced. I managed to argue a bill down on the cost for the Archicad book. Um, for £38, you're basically getting about two or three years of my um, pain and knowledge uh, expressed in the book. Um, it does have lots of requests from Graphsoft at the back as well on how to make it better. Um, no tool is ever perfect, so there's, it's not a, a nice shiny book, although Graphsoft did check it for technical content and did endorse it for us as well, so, um, and helped us, helped us get it over the line. So it's worth, um, I think £38 is a fair and reasonable investment, uh, even if you're a fairly small practice, to help you get on that journey. And of course, many people have bought that, that book already, um, including allegedly Donald, Donald Trump. Well, I think that was a slight joke uh, from us, some Australians on the other side of the world. Um, and some people have been reading it on their holiday. Uh, I wouldn't advise that. It's not, it's not that exciting. Um, but we've sold in about over a dozen countries uh, so far. And um, Scott was kind enough to um, let me publish a small article on their, uh, on their blog as well, which really kind of covers some of the main reasons why I believe that small practices uh, small medium practices should adopt Kobe as kind of standard practice really, you know, even if you're doing small house uh, extensions, ultimately if you want to work with bigger companies and offer your services, um, increasing and just aligning with standards is a sensible way to go. So some final thoughts, um, we've built our whole approach around open standards, um, Archicad is our main authoring tool internally and IFC is a big big part of our exchange. Kobe is just another part of that open BIM process, which I would include BCF in, in as well. So open standards, everything you do, it doesn't matter who, how small or how big you are or what work you do, building a whole approach around open standards is very much about future-proofing the business that you work in and ultimately allow you to work with um, other people and use other software tools. Um, my final thoughts really are, Go and download the Archicad to Kobe guys um, from Graphsoft without wanting to plug it horrendously and, and retire early. Um, go and buy our book. Build your template. Um, there's plenty of advice in that book about how to build a template. Test your templates. It's really important to test them and make sure they work for you. Train your staff and ultimately, of course, implement it. 
But the big message with all of this really is to make this business as usual. That, that's my real kind of, my passion really with Kobe is that we shouldn't be saying to clients, you need to pay extra for this, we should be integrating it. And don't wait for a client to turn up and do it. Do it first and then go and sell, tell them that you can deliver this stuff and, and really promote what you can do.